Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys from Grove, and today we're going to use this mini chainsaw to make these Christmas bears. Let's get into it. Best Christmas ever. Lately, I've been really into watching these videos where these artists use chainsaws to create incredible pieces of art. So when this company reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try out their mini battery operated chainsaw, I thought this would be a lot of fun. Now we're not going to make anything quite elaborate as these other artists, but I still think it's going to be pretty cool. Electric or battery powered tools are really popular now. In fact, all of my yard equipment is battery powered. Now I've never heard of this brand before, but I have to say first impressions are really good. This is a really nice hard case and it comes with two 3 amp batteries. This little saw has a brushless motor, 8 inch blade, integrated lubrication, and the tiniest funnel in the world. Look at that cute little thing. All right, we got our little saw oiled up and now it's time to test out on a few things. This saw does a great job trimming trees and bushes around the yard and they also sell a pole attachment to get to those hard to reach branches. It also can be really handy for breaking down wood scraps for the fire. All right, that's enough goofing around. We do have an actual project to build, so let me grab the logs and we'll get started on those. I had a few logs from some type of conifer tree that I had to take down a while back and this little saw had no problem cutting them up. But let's put it to the real test with some oak logs that I've been holding on to. After all that cutting, we're still at three bars of power. Now I've been holding on to these logs for quite some time with a few projects in mind, but I've never had the saw to be able to break them down. I gotta say, this little battery operated chainsaw really got the job done, even with that big oak log. And now that we have our cookies cut out, we can start on a project. I used the bench sander to remove what was left of the bark and to smooth out the chainsaw marks. Using the mini chainsaw, I cut one side off of each log flat so that they can stand up on their edge and cleaned up those cuts with a hand plane. To create the features of each bear, I took the log slices that I'm using for the heads, traced them onto some paper, and then drew on the features. Since every log slice is just a little bit different, I decided to make every face just a little bit different. See, it's, it's not different, it's the same. Just Changed. Then I traced all the pieces onto some quarter inch plywood and cut everything out on the scroll saw. I used glue and brad nails to attach all the pieces and then use some paint pens to add the features. I also used some ribbon to bring in that Christmas theme. All right, our little Christmas bears are done and I got that Oh, those are so cute approval from my wife so i'm calling this project a win as you can see i put a couple different decorations on each one this is just some items that i picked up at dollar tree the little hats are nothing more than just a piece of ribbon that i wrapped around and hot glued together and kind of crunched the end and then this is just a little styrofoam ball 
I didn't add finish to mine because when this wood gets wet, it gets really deep dark red. So I just left mine unfinished because I like this light look. I like the idea of using the cutoffs. I like that rustic look, but if this is not really your thing, I have made a full set of templates that's on our website based on these sizes and shapes here. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This little chainsaw came in really handy and you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of it because I have a lot more projects planned with wood slices. If you're interested in picking one of these mini chainsaws up for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed this project. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.